Hi, my name is Leland Smith with the Iowa Department for the Blind. I'm a vocational rehabilitation teacher. So uh, my job is to go out and meet with clients out across Iowa and work on different non-visual skills. Part of working with someone is not only teaching the skills, but also teaching them how to apply these skills to their daily life. Um, a big question comes up when you know, talking about Braille and learning Braille is how to turn those new Braille skills into a daily use. And my thing that I push a lot of people towards is using Braille screen input, which is a alternative way to type on your phone using voiceover. So instead of having to dictate your text messages or dictate the text, you or using one finger to find each individual letter on the keyboard, you can actually type using Braille on your phone. And this is very helpful as I feel it gives you more control over what you're typing and the formatting, how it looks, and it's a lot easier to do than trying to navigate around the keyboard just by touch. So to add the Braille screen input to the rotor, so you have to go, first go into settings, then under accessibility, under voiceover, and then you have to navigate down to the rotor. And once inside the rotor, there's a list of different items you can add to the rotor. And the Braille screen input is roughly halfway down that list. Uh, so make sure that's selected and once it is, you can go ahead and start using it whenever you're in an edit field. So once you get into the notes app um, you'll and create a new note, it'll automatically put you into the edit field. So you can go ahead and use that rotor gestures to navigate to Braille screen input. Once Braille screen input is on, uh, if this is your first time using it, it'll kind of give you a little tutorial talking about the dot positions and how to calibrate where the dots lay. So there are a couple different gestures and they all involve using either one finger, two fingers, or three. So we'll start with the one finger gestures. So if you take one finger and swipe it to the right, you uh, will add a space. If you take one finger and swipe it to the left, you'll delete one character. So it's kind of like your back space. So one finger is your space to the right, back space to the left. Moving on to the two finger gestures. Two finger swipe to the right will add a new line, while two fingers to the left will delete a whole word. So that's kind of a quick way if you want to delete chunks of stuff that you've typed, using that two finger swipe left to then delete by words, which I find very helpful. Lastly, we have the three finger swipe gestures. And those would be three fingers to the right or left will do the same thing. And it'll toggle between contracted braille and six dot braille. I recommend keeping it in contracted braille as even if you're only using uncontracted braille, it'll work fine. And if you know a couple of contractions, you can also sneak those in. But the most important one of the up and down gestures would be your three finger swipe down to lock and unlock your rotation and your three finger swipe up to send a message if you're in your message, your, uh, message app and you're texting someone. You can swipe three fingers up, it'll automatically send the message. Um, I talked about a little bit the two different modes. So there's screenway mode and tabletop mode. Tabletop mode is where the phone is laying flat on a surface. So it could be your leg, could be a table in front of you. And then the braille arrangement is very similar to a Perkins or a braille display. So it's that Perkins style layout where you have your dots kind of spread in a line. While the screen away mode is where you can hold it in your hand between your palms and the dots positions then would be one, two, three on the left and four, five, six on the right. So it's like you're looking at the braille cell in your hand. And that's keeping the screen pointing away from you and the tops and the bottom of the phone in your hand. 
I personally use this mode the most as it's a lot easier for me to perform the gestures than using the tabletop mode. And lastly, to calibrate the dot positions, if you tap three fingers on the right side, followed by three fingers on the left side, and put a little bit of pause between the two, it'll calibrate the dot positions. And this gesture can be kind of tricky to perform, and it will take some practice before you can accurately use it. So lastly, we have the one finger swipe up and down. So using this gesture, it will auto-correct and go through the spell, the suggestions, if you misspelled a word. So for example, if you were to type out Halloween and spell it with one L and one E, you can swipe one finger up or down to toggle through the list. So it might give you halogen, hallway, or Halloween. And when you hear the word that you want to actually use, you add your space and it will autocorrect the word. So again, my name is Leland Smith, and thank you for watching.